and gentlemen, your next contest, it will be a singles match with a 30 minute time limit. There will be no disqualifications in this match. It will be a first blood match. The first competitor to make his opponent bleed will be the winner. Weighing in today at 270 pounds, hailing from Indianapolis, Indiana, your resident ECW vampire, Kevin Hoard. Take a look at that. Talk about evil personified. Mm -hmm. Pete Wagner, you're taking a look at Kevin Thorne, who has carved a niche in this business by carving people to pieces. And what kind of match do we have here? We've got a first blood la match, ladies and gentlemen. He's that means- day Abdullah the Butcher. There you go, there you go. Perfect analogy. The first man to draw blood from the other will be victorious. Oh, I I I'm telling you. Kevin Thorne, a well-established veteran in this business, as dangerous, and I mean as off the wall as anybody, perhaps except his opponent who will be coming out in just a moment. And you teased this one earlier oh. in this, con this uh, card. And this is something else. Wait a minute now. Watch this. Look at Kevin. Look at Kevin Thorne. Oh, man. He's got that skull. This is a frightening scene, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the expression on his face. Oh, man. I'm rather not. Nick Cart. Oh, By the boy. way, how glad are you to have me at your side? After Corbin? Yeah. I mean, you make a new appreciation. You it's like, it's like I won the lottery you now like that you're me. back again. Yeah. Yeah. There he is, of course, a former member of the breed. Early on, the vampire warrior himself, Gangrel. And I'm telling you, this man is the real deal. There, this isn't hyperbole. This isn't pro wrestling hype. This man is a bona fide nutcase. Well, you saw him when he pulled into this place. Oh. He has headlined in every major wrestling center, not only here in the United States, but all over the world. I J tell you Europe, what, though, Japan. He's smart enough to know that the man he is in the ring with, the animal that he's in the ring with, Kevin Thorne, is nobody to be taken lightly. A first blood match with two guys of this caliber, of this mentality, is off the charts. You've been looking forward to this one since oh. this, this, car, this match was booked. Oh, waiting for referee Johnson to give us the signal for All the right. bell. He's looking intently at you. Wait a minute, to the outside. Wait a minute now, he's got, he's got the skull. Does Kevin Thorne over in the corner. Gangrel who came out spitting blood when he walked through the curtain. Wow, look at the skull right Ugh. there. I, I, if, if I was one of the fans sitting about ringside very, very close there, I would be really, really. I'd be careful. A li little uh, little trepidation I'll, going on. I'll put it on. this way. I'd be wearing surgical gloves and maybe a surgical bodysuit. Perhaps a pair of dark pants would be in order. Uh, white would not be a good thing to wear today with this match. Talk about a frightening head-on collision between two men who not only 
are certifiable lunatics. Their goal in life is to instill fear and intimidation in everybody that they get into the ring with. They don't care about championship belts. They don't care about money. That's not what it's about to them. Their their goal in wrestling is to put as many people in the hospital or worse as possible. Referee Johnson is having a hell of a time getting Kevin Thorne. He's eyeballing a young fan oh, who no. is absolutely putting his life in his own hands. Is that a, I mean. Is that a Randy Moss jersey he's got on? Or no, is that it's something? Cordero Patterson. Oh, okay, Dor- Cordero Patterson. I was hoping it wasn't a Moss jersey. Oh, I was hoping it would be a Moss. Straight cash, homie. Kevin Thorne. This guy wow. is a monster. I'm looking at him right now. Boy, this guy is a, he's an eclipse of the ring when he walks by. You know what? Do you think about all of the level of matches that have been put together here in Heavy On Wrestling, and you think about the, the stipulations and things that we've had, and you take a look at the type of talent they bring in, the two in this squared circle tonight, and what the stipulations are, unprecedented. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Be limber at ringside, folks. I'm telling you. Kevin Thorne and Gangrel. Gangrel actually, yes, you're right. If we if we get a close-up of him at some point in this matchup, the man has fangs, and they're filed. They are. There you go. They like Gangrel here. Well, Gangrel's army, I guess, army of lunatics, and now Kevin Thorne taking issue with some of those fans about ringside. You know, usually in a matchup like this, when you announce that Gangrel is on the card, you think, well, nobody can get us off the wall and as nutso as he can. Then all of a sudden, you see the opponent in the corner, Kevin Thorne, who has equally a a rather bizarre resume in this business. That's that's a good start, you know, Mick. why 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 don't you bring those up to speed that need to know what that bizarre resume is? Kevin Thorne... He's a veteran not only of of ECW, he has wrestled for the World Wrestling Entertainment Group. He has literally been a globetrotter for the past several years. And everything that you hear about this guy, everything is about how he started a riot, how he crippled somebody, how he got into a locker room altercation, that kind of thing. The flip side of the coin, Pete, the other side of the pancake, is Gangrel has the same thing. The same dossier belongs to, to Gangrel. Long and storied careers oh. for these two. They're very measured here to get started on this first blood match. Equal in size. And again, ladies and gentlemen, as Pete just said, the first man to draw blood from the other will officially be declared the winner. They lock up with intensity here to start this match. Referee Jesse Johnson, I do not envy you. Yeah, this is certainly one I would not want to get no. uh, involved. No, with you don't want to be in the middle of this. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's that kick. Hazard pay. Caught him right to the thigh and then a shot to the jaw by Kevin Thorne. I know he's, he's going after. He's going after number 84 in the audience once again. He and the 12-year-old can't let let each other go. He's catching Gangrel right into the thighs. Charlie Horse City. Look at the... Oh, but Gangrel with a boot of his own that time. Oh, big elbow. God, have you got just a couple of absolute... I call them stunning. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt about it. They these guys up dead in their tracks. Stunning is definitely the word. There's no question about it. Big body slam. Right through the core of the mat. Misses with the elbow. Does Kevin Thorne now Gangrel with an elbow of his own right to the heart. The black heart of Kevin Thorne. Rolls to the safety. I don't know how safe it is on the outside of the ring. When you've got a first blood match, you realize from Cronin, they could run a guy into a ring post, into a chair on a table as long as they draw blood. The bell rings. It's over. It could happen any time. It could happen on our announce table. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, wait a second. Way too close oh, no, for cover. Oh, way oh. too close on the casket. Oh, my. Just ran the man into a casket here at ringside. Oh, are you kidding me? Head oh. first into a casket again. 
The expression on Gangrel's face does not change. There's hardly any focus in the man's eyes. I mean, oh, but look at look at Thorn now. Look at Thorn. Kevin Thorn giving as good as he got. And now it's Gangrel who goes head first into the into the coffin. The very intense Kevin Thorn. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, I'm telling you, it's. Oh now man! We, uh -oh. Wait a minute. What, what's we what's Thorn doing? He's got a pumpkin. Thorn has a, a pumpkin. So he got a pu a pumpkin, a goblin. I'm not sure. He's a little bit out of our camera range right it's now. A pumpkin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh, that thing's got sharp edges. Well, it certainly does. Oh, oh right off the top of his head. With the pumpkin. Wait a minute. They are way too close for uh -oh. comfort here. By our announce table. Uh oh, look out, look out, look out. There's no count out in this one. Oh, oh, into the wall, into the cement wall here at Clyde's Ironworks. F Fred Yerke, a better door than a wall. Oh, my. Yerke apparently my doesn't, God. doesn't know. We're calling a match. The meaning of a, you know, camera. Wait a second. Oh, there's oh. a chair right to the back. And once again, Kevin Thorne oh. is out gangrelling gangrel, if that's possible. I don't even know why Jesse Johnson is out there. I, I guess he's got to look for look the blood. blood. Yeah, he's got to look for the blood. And once again, Pete, as is often the case here at Clyde's Ironworks. We're having a hard time. There they go. Shot here on the camera. There they go into the, the catacombs of this building. Are they in the bathroom that you destroyed moments ago? Don't worry about what I did in the bathroom. I've, I've endured worse. I've endured worse. Putt, putt, putt. I'm telling you, I have endured worse. You get three putts, and then all of a sudden your nose hairs. Wait a second now. Where are these guys? Had, where, where's, Todd, where's Todd Grover? Come on. Is Grover still alive? Did he get run over? That's my concern. These guys will handle themselves, but I Grover. I would zoom in on a cell phone camera. That's better than what You know what? Let's right hire now. that kid. Hire him. We but, need but, him. But, but wouldn't you zoom in on the cell phone camera to get us a good picture? We, gotta, we need something. There they are. Oh, all man. We, all we can say is, uh-oh. Wait a second. We got a table now, a table set up. From the gimmicks. Thank God I don't have my gimmicks on there. All hell is breaking loose. Wait a second. Watch this now. The table is set up in the corner. There's a reverse. Oh, oh and Kevin Thorne went head first. Oh. Into on. the table, that banquet table. The main course is Kevin Thorne. Wow. Kevin Thorne staggering his way through. Well, apparently the cameraman is as well. No, Groves is on it. Getting seasick here. Listen to you. Where have they gone, Joe DiMaggio? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Simon and Garfunkel. Way to the far side of the ring. I mean, we're only guessing what's going on. Are they? They're over by the bathrooms on the... No, um, no, that's the wrong one. Is that the wrong? Is that the wrong? Who the was bathroom? that guy wait, in the wait, bathroom? Wait, wait. Are there bathrooms on that side? I don't know. I only use one men's room, and you complained about that for a half well, an hour. If they closed it when you left. They did. <laughs> they had what, I see fans. They had a disinfect. I, Pete, what, it, what in the hell? Did they go in the bathroom? I am not leaving this broadcast. They were position. in the bathroom. They were in the bathroom. The man has toilet paper all oh over it. Oh, they no. Went in the bathroom. Did he shove his face in the can? This is unprecedented. Someone got a swirly. <laughs> We're watching a man get teepeed right oh before our God. very it's eyes here. Mouth. Look at it's in his mouth. Oh. That Mick Foley wannabe, get oh. him out of the way. He already wow. lost the costume contest. To a five year old. Oh. Gangrel now over the top. Does he? He's got the he's got the toilet paper in his mouth, Pete. Oh, measured oh, right. Another. Oh, one. right in oh. front of us. This is. Oh, how ugly is this? I'm telling you. Referee Jesse Johnson totally helpless here. He can't do a thing. We're we're just looking for that first sign of blood, and I'm amazed we haven't seen it yet. But then, of course, I suppose toilet paper isn't going to necessarily slice you open. Wow. But where did it come from? Was it in the toilet? I don't want to know. Oh, oh, God, he caught him. Kicked the rope, and the ropes went uh, went north into the southern extremities. Kevin Thorne going to the midsection. Midsection, that's what you call it? Well, look what we have. 
Something came out of the hands. Oh, wait a minute now. What does Thorne have? Once again, Fred Yerke blocking the camera shot and uh -oh, doesn't it's care. Sharp. It's sharp, whatever it is. Is he going with the tax? Fred is. doesn't know the meaning of get out of the way, oh, but no. let's. What in the world? Wait, oh, no, look at Thorne. Oh, oh, He's got. Oh, 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 what does he get? Oh, oh, what does oh. he got? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, my God. What the hell is that? Looks like a sharp rosary or something. Good God. Kevin Thorne will stop at nothing. He couldn't even put his fingers on it. It was so sharp. And it's around his oh, neck. Oh, he's, there's oh no way Gangrel God. comes out of this without being a bloody mess. I can't oh. believe it. If not, he's made out of lizard skin. Oh, he's, he's got to be. I'm not. Now the tie's coming off. And oh, goes, look oh, at. Oh, no, no. He's God. cinching down. Oh, oh my God. Pete. You've heard of the crown of thorns. Pete, this is, this is. Uh, this is unnerving. It's getting a little bit over the top here, wrestling oh. fans. We've never seen anything like this in heavy on wrestling, believe you me. He's balls up that fist and he's working on the forehead of Gangrel. Drops the big man, the vampire warrior on the deck. He's checking himself to see if Thorne opened him up to the to this point. I don't think that's happened, but Thorne, it's still Again. it's still wrapped around his throat. And he's using that tie of his to tighten that thing into the skin. Oh, come believe. on. Oh, my God. All it takes is a and drop of blood. Him out. You know, you don't have to draw a gallon of blood. All you got to do is open the guy up. So this one could be over very, very quickly. You've got carotid arteries. You've got all kinds of things Everything. to be concerned with here. Everything. This could be very serious. Look at the, the absolute guts and determination of Gangrel. He's been around this. Oh, God. Oh. God almighty. And then oh. a clothesline right to the neck. This isn't Gangrel's first rodeo, but it may be his last. Wow. Now Kevin Thorne has been impressive here in this first blood match. Has he still got that steel and spikes wrapped around he his wants throat? It gone. He's trying to get it. Off. Uh oh, oh now, the now we, he stall. Oh. I, I, I'm sorry to say, Pete, this one is all of a sudden, this has taken a, a turn for the horribly worse oh. for Gangrel. Oh, God. He sharpened oh. it. Oh, my God. This oh, guy no. Just oh, brutal. no. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Let's not have this. Let's not have this. Look at Gangrel. Gangrel is fighting, fighting with everything. Oh. oh, my God. Look at that shot. Oh, this oh. is just horrendous. Oh, look at that. Gangrel gets out of that. Oh, not for the faint of heart, I'm telling you. No. Heavy on wrestling. I tell you what, they, they announce something and they deliver. Pure and simple. We Gangrel knew, person. we knew this was going to be nuclear. Oh, wait oh, a minute. No. Referee oh. Jesse Johnson oh. sandwiched in the corner. Oh, my word. The crowd loved it, too. Do you blame him? No, not at all. And now Kevin Thorne to the outside. What's he doing now? What's he getting this time? He's got some shades. What uh -oh. the hell is this man doing? He's got the Oh, no, chalice. he's got. He does. He's got it. And the contents therein, I'm afraid. Jesse Johnson has been absolutely no. floored here. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, he went low that. Wait ring a minute. It, ring it. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner on this contest, Gang Grow. Wow. If I'm not mistaken, what happened here is that Kevin Thorne attempted to spray the blood or whatever it was in the eyes of Gang Grell. It backfired on him. Jesse oh, no. Johnson looks up and sees Kevin Thorne covered in blood and assumed he had been opened up. Oh, no. Oh, my God. There goes Johnson. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. There's a DDT, and then there's a DDT. He killed him. That's as good as it gets. Oh. Right there. Well, no doubt, ladies and gentlemen, if Kevin Thorne goes to the commission and says, hey, the man never opened me up, he didn't. 
He has every right to go there. But referee Jesse Johnson, who was knocked half, half silly, looked up and saw Kevin Thorne covered in blood, and he made the call. Ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup. First blood, Jay Grell the winner here in Duluth. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jesse Johnson trying to get to his feet while Kevin Thorne is trying to shake the cobwebs and come out of unconsciousness. That may oh have been the God. single most devastating DDT I've ever seen, and that includes Jake Roberts. I, oh, my God, he In all the matches it. I've called, that's the best DDT I've ever seen. Amazing. Amazing. Bottom line is, again, whether or not Kevin Thorne wants to take this to the commission and push it. He got screwed. He did, but nonetheless. But they also didn't take care of the referee. There's a little bit of that in there, too. Look at Thorne. Look at the wow. expression on the face of Kevin Thorne. This guy is in Neverland. He's, he's gone. He is absolutely gone. As are we. We're coming back to Duluth, Minnesota, Clyde's Ironworks. Heavy on wrestling, main event coming up.